Quite big news for both Space Marines and Necron players today. Both factions are getting a new combat patrol box. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we have some interesting new options for either getting into Space Marines or Necrons. Until now, both factions haven't had their own combat patrol box release in 9th. They both of course have their own starter boxes that came out at the start of 9th edition, so it is quite easy to get into the factions, but none of them actually had their own proper combat patrol boxes in the same style that things like, say, Space Wolves, Death Watch, Drakari or Death Guard got. It all seems to be rapidly changing though, as we have a new box for each, and other ways to get some potentially discounted Warhammer are usually a good thing. Let's take a quick look at both of them then, and what we might get inside. So first up we have Combat Patrol Space Marines. Now this one is really quite similar to the one that we've had before, it looks like it's going to be a direct upgrade to start collecting Vanguard Space Marines. That box has been out for a while, it's already a really good way to get into the faction, but basically in 9th edition they've been upping the points cost and the number of models in these boxes, and they all cost £85, €110, Euros, or $140. Now I was wondering how they were going to update that box, if they were indeed going to bother in 9th, as all of those start collecting Vanguard Marines all come on the same sprues. They're the ones that were originally released in the Shadow Spear box a couple of years ago. In any case, it looks like the Combat Patrol Space Marines is just going to be the start collecting Space Marine Vanguard, but you also get an extra Impulsor thrown in for the extra £25. Basically, you get yourself a Phobos Armoured Lieutenant, three Eliminators with Bolt Sniper Rifles, ten Infiltrators, three Suppressors, and that Impulsor, though all of which besides the Impulsor will be monopose models that you can't build alternates for. We do have to estimate their costs separately slightly, as you can't get the Phobos Lieutenant separately, nor can you get the Suppressors, but if we assume that the Phobos Lieutenant costs the same as, say, the Reva Lieutenant, and the Suppressors cost the same as the Eliminators, you arrive at a rough cost of £160 or $270. US dollars. Now, of course, it doesn't equate quite so well to that, because, of course, these are monopose kits, they aren't the full multi-part kits, say, if you brought, say, Eliminators separately and got the option of Las Fusels. But if you are happy with the loadouts of the models in this box, then it's a pretty awesome deal. Theoretically, that amounts to around about a 46% discount on buying all of these models separately. Arguably, this could be even better than the Blood Angels Combat Patrol box, as that had a very similar discount indeed, but a lot of the value of that was tied up in upgrade sprues, which you might or might not want, depending on what chapter you play. Generally, the Start Collecting Vanguard Space Marines kit was an awesome value before, and I'm glad to see that it still looks like it's going to remain an awesome value set after. Really quite a cheap way of getting quite a lot of fairly recent models on the table, though of course you do have to be kind of happy with the Phobos armor's aesthetic, some people like it more than others. I would say that tacking on the Impulsor maybe does feel just a little bit forced, theoretically you could transport either the Eliminators or the Infiltrators in-game, though I think in reality you're rarely going to want to do that. The Infiltrators have a load of their value in deploying outside their deployment zone to start with, so you're kind of wasting that by putting them in an Impulsor when you could have used, say, standard Intercessors. So I'd say unit-wise the Impulsor isn't a great fit, but I think it could be used easily elsewhere in a Space Marine army. Maybe if you had a few Blade Guards from Indomitus or something, or perhaps some Intercessors or Hellblasters, they could be a much better fit for the transport. Overall, good kit, and I'm glad that we're still getting a very hefty discount on those Vanguard Space Marines, and they haven't taken the opportunity to jack up the price crazily. Next up, we come to the forces of the Necrons. Them not having a Stark Collecting Box or Combat Patrol has been a gripe for quite a long time now. Again, of course, you could get access to a bunch of Necron models for fairly cheap via the various starter sets for 40k, but if you just want to start Necrons alone and you don't want any Space Marine miniatures, then this could be an interesting option to start the faction. Again, it will most likely be £85 or $140. In the box, you get an Overlord, a different sculpt to the Indomitus one, two squads of five Immortals that you can either build as Immortals or Death Marks, a Night Scythe or Doom Scythe, and then three Tomb Blades. Unit composition wise, I think that most of them are really quite solid picks for the Necrons. Immortals and Tomb Blades are pretty much fine, Overlords are always going to be a core choice for the army. Maybe the Night Sides and Doom Sides aren't absolutely outstanding for the points, but they're still quite fun models to have. In general though, I do quite like the way that they haven't chosen to overlap with the 40k starter sets. They could have just put more Necron Warriors or Scorpec Destroyers in here, models that a lot of Necron players can find really quite cheaply anyway. So I quite like it that you could buy this as well as buying the starter set and not be overlapping and having redundant purchases that you might not want. I think it's good to be able to find another hefty part of the Necron roster at a discount. If you bought these guys all separately, they cost around about £135 or $213, so around about a 37% saving compared with buying separately. That compares pretty decently with the other combat patrol boxes, 37% does tend to be about par for the course. 
Overall, it seems like another decent option for the Necron players to jump into the faction. Adding these either to the Necrons from the starter boxes, or the ones that you already might have from Indomitus, could certainly go a long way to getting you a sizeable Necron army, so in general I'd say the box is quite a good option. So anyway, let me know what you think of the two boxes. Games Workshop have announced a bunch of other things dropping at the end of the week, including the new Admet Codex, Lilith Hesperax, and a few others. Hopefully I'll talk about them tomorrow, but I don't really have much time to record any more now, unfortunately. So feel free to subscribe to the channel or check back later if you'd like to see a bit more discussion about this week's releases. In any case, let me know what you think of the boxes down below. Finally, if you have been finding the videos on this channel useful, I would just like to mention that I do have a Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. It is what allows me to keep on making videos quite this frequently. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, such as seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next, and automatic entry to the prize giveaways, so if any of that interests you, feel free to check it out. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.